what's up guys? And today I'm here at the lake and I'm just going to be doing some bass fishing. Um, I'm really uncertain of what these bass are going to be, you know, hitting today and what's going to catch the fish. So I'm just going to, you know, stick around and try and figure it out and, uh, you know, see what happens. So let's go catch some fish. <clears throat> this actually is the lake where uh, it all started for me. Caught my first uh, largemouth bass here and uh, got me hooked ever since. You know, it's a uh, pretty flat, calm day and, uh, you know, not much wind, which is perfect. It's a little chilly, 40 degrees out, but um, I definitely think I'll be able to uh, swing some bass on the beach today. And, uh, you know, stay tuned for the end of the video so then you can see what tactic I used and how I used that tactic to catch fish. Right now I'm throwing a uh, suspending jerk bait along this drop off here to the left of me. And the water is still in the upper 40s. So the bass are gonna be cruising this drop off looking for bluegill, you know, crawfish, little minnows. And that's where I feel like they're gonna see my, my jerk bait jerking through there and kind of suspending and they're gonna hit it they're gonna nail it the fish right now even though it's December are more in like a you know a late fall kind of mode because this year 2015 it's been such a mild fall and winter and finally now we're getting some colder days every day was pretty much getting into the 50s and um, and even 60s sometimes even 70s and the water just never really got chilled down, so the fish are still actively feeding. Right now I'm throwing the RC stick. And I've caught a lot of uh, good fish on this, on this jerk bait. I'm hoping it'll work out this morning. It's really overcast and cloudy today. And pressure that was really low is lifted so I feel the fish are going to be a little bit more lethargic this morning and be on the bottom looking for crayfish or you know small little bluegills or something There he is, fish on. Oh, first fish of the day. There we go. He's not a monster, but hooked him right outside that grass. Woo, on that, on that suspended jerk bait. I knew there'd be a bass or two right in by that jerk bait. I gotta get my pliers out. Come here, Bassy. Just caught on that RC stick. This guy's got a little deformity to his jaw. Not a bad fish, Let's get him on his way. I basically was casting along the drop off here to the right of me and was, was reeling it down, giving it a jerk jerk, and then letting it pause. And I was letting it pause for about five, ten seconds. And right on the pause, right outside this this uh, high grass, you know, reed bed here, that's where I actually sight fished and saw that bass. Eat my uh, eat my jerk bait, and uh, so spending jerk bait, you know, is working. Caught my first fish. I'm gonna try and catch some more. You know, so it's still early yet. I got here at around uh, 8 a.m. and uh, it's only about 8:20 right now. 
So I've uh, been fishing for about 20 minutes, got my first fish. That's, uh, that's pretty good in my book, so let's try to catch some more. How I'm fishing this jerk bait is, you know, I'm casting it out a parallel to a drop off or to the weed lines. And then basically what I want to do is just crank it down and then pause. And once I pause, I like to give it little jerks and jiggles here and there, which causes that, that jerk bait kind of just to go to dart side to side and kind of hover in the same area. And that's when those bass are going to hit, are going to hit it. And then I basically just repeat that, crank it down, pause it, give it little jerks as it's suspending. I like to give it some sort of action while it's sitting there suspending. And I find the bass love it. Yeah, the sun here in northern New Jersey hasn't been out in probably two, three days, and finally, finally today, a little bit of the, uh, little bit of light is peeking through this, this cloud cover and overcast skies. But for quite a while, there wasn't uh, any sun; just cold, humid, and rainy and sleety, snowy. You know, finally some winter weather. So I was kind of worried about even coming here and actually doing that well with the uh, suspending jerkbait. I, I was thinking I was going to have to fish along the bottom with, uh, you know, a small jig or a, uh, you know, small grub or something in order to get a bite. Oh, there he is. Oh, that's a, the wrong species, though. <laughs> Big pickerel. Wrong species. <laughs> I was gonna say if that was a bass, it was gonna be a you know three four pounder. <clears throat> it's a nice pickerel though. Holy moly! I'm just gonna fling him on the the beach here. Ooh, that's a chunky pickerel. Look at the size of that one. Woo! That's got to easily be at least probably a 25 inch pickerel or so. Nice fish. Got to watch these treble hooks, especially on a pickerel. There you go. You're free, buddy. Okay. Let's get him on his way. Like snakes in the water, those pickerel. All right, let's hopefully uh, try to catch some more bass. You know, even a pickerel like that, that was fun. There he is. I think it's a pickerel again. Ah, nice big, really big pickerel. Monstrous pickerel. It's bigger than my first one. Oh! That's a big pickerel. I'm gonna I'm gonna get a weight on this big guy. Hey buddy. Okay. On that RC stick is a big pickerel. It's about the same length as my my first one. I'm just gonna I'm gonna get a weight on this guy. Hook his jaw up. Okay. Oh. 
Come on, buddy. See how much this this pickerel weighs? Two pound five ounces. I don't know if you guys can see that, but that's uh, not a bad pickerel. It's pretty. Uh, they put up a good fight. Let's get a let's throw him back. There he goes. Wow, that pickerel tore up these hooks. He uh, he broke one hook off. Wow. See that? The third hook on this uh, first treble from the head, he just broke it right off. Wow. I guess I gotta make a note of that. Uh, the RC sticks catch fish, but need to replace the hooks. <laughs> So today was a pretty decent day, given the fact that it's the end of December, December 31st. You know, Happy New Year's, by the way. It's almost the 2016 fishing season, and um, it's midwinter, and I was able to come out here and catch a bass, a couple, you know, nice-sized pickerel, fishing a spending jerkbait, and, um, you know, we had a low-pressure system this morning. It was really humid, rainy, you know, misty, and um, as the morning continued, the pressure lifted, and... I have a feeling that caused the fish that were swimming along the drop-offs to drop off the drop-offs, basically, and move into the basin area, into the deeper water, where I couldn't basically target with this suspending jerkbait, and that was the reason why I stopped catching fish. You know, I fished for another couple hours after I had that last pickerel, and I just couldn't get another bite. Anyways, uh, basically, this setup that I was using today was a Berkeley Amp, you know, seven-foot medium casting, bait casting fishing rod rigged with a Alba Garcia Silver Max 641 gear ratio bait casting reel with 10 pound test Power Pro Green Moss braid and a 12 pound test Blue Label Seaguar fluorocarbon leader tied directly to my RC stick suspending jerk bait and um, this setup alone is one of my favorite setups um, you know I can use I use it I love using it for you know crankbait fishing in the springtime you know, jig, you know, small little bitsy bug jigs, and uh, grubs. It you know, it all works. It all works great with this setup. You know, the rod you can purchase from Dick Sporting Goods for about thirty thirty dollars or so, and uh, it's about an eighty dollar fishing rod. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video today of me sweet water fishing. Um, usually, I'm always you know out in the ocean in the surf, catching stripers out in the kayak, trying to catch that big striper. But um, you know, this winter I'm going to be doing a lot of sweet water fishing. You know area that I usually fish for holdover stripers is not producing this year, so I'm going to be targeting bass, perch, trout, you know, pike, walleye. I'm, trying to, I'm going to try and target Sweetwater a lot to try and pump out these videos for you guys, and, you know, I hope they are enjoyable as saltwater videos. So if you guys enjoyed this video, let me know in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. I hope, I hope you guys have a good 2016 season, and I hope you guys enjoy and I'm looking forward to a lot of videos that I have in store for you guys. Thanks for watching. Get out here on the water. I'll see you out here. And don't forget to subscribe.